All right, everybody. Again, thank you for joining us today at What Can Scholarly Marketing Do For You? So I do want to go ahead and start today's class again by letting you know that this is just a general overview, although we will be diving into a bunch of different areas. If you have any questions about one specific area, um, please let me know what area you are referencing and what question you may have by just dropping your question in the chat box and we will be circling back to it um, at, at later point. So if you are a brand new agent with Keller Williams um, and you have been onboarded by us, um, we typically do your onboarding, which takes around uh, one to two business days. We generally say it does typically go a lot quicker than that. It's most We shoot for a few hours, but we just try to say one to two business days just to be on the safe side. Um, once you have completed the questionnaire, um, you will receive an email that looks a lot like this. So your email is going to be subject Keller Cloud Setup Complete. It's going to have your name, and then it's going to show you your market center number. So if you never really knew that number after the market center, this number is going to reference your market center specifically. Um, that number is going to be used for a few different purposes throughout your time with Keller Williams. Um, and, and this just kind of helps identify which office you are exactly. A lot of times market centers have a lot of unique names, but a lot of those unique names sound very similar to other ones. So that just helps out a lot knowing which market center number you are part of. So during the, in this email that you received, it's going to say, welcome aboard to Keller Williams. It's gonna tell you to please click here to access all your new information. So this red click here is going to be a clickable link. And right below it is going to, again, have your market center number. Now, the number is going to be what you use to access your documents on your logins and passwords, which you will see on the next page. So it says enter your market center number to unlock. Now, this is what your completed setup looks like. Now, your completed setup, as you can see here at the very top of the page, it does show locked, and then it asks for an enter your name and a 16-digit unlocking key. This whole top little gray bar area right here, you can completely disregard. This is for our purposes. So don't your account's not locked. You're, it's okay. That's just for our purposes. So none of this information can be um, accidentally updated and changed. So Now, if you do see this, this um, the sheet and this says unlocked, you are able to edit this information, but keep in mind, editing this information on here does not mean you are updating any usernames or passwords. So if you accidentally change the information on the setup sheet and it gets saved that way, you, your username and password will not be correct. So just make sure you, um, if you see it unlocked, try not to mess with anything. A lot of times what happens is we do send a first draft out to market center leadership um, just so they can look over and approve anything, or if they see that maybe we have a typo somewhere, they can let us know, hey, this needs to be changed, and then we can update it. Sometimes market center leadership um, may send this over to the agent so they have it quicker, so they're not agents not waiting as long. But by doing that, sometimes agents accidentally um, cause a typo in there. So just be very careful to make sure whether or not you see this is locked or unlocked. All right, so scrolling down, we do have um, a little welcome message here for you. And then below that, again, it's going to be your website password. Um, if you ever want to access any of our trainings, any of our information on our website, scottleroymarketing.com, which we will be going over in just a little bit, it will ask you for your market center number. Again, that is your market center specific. Um, that's just kind of your password. It gets used to be able to access and kind of associate you with that specific market center. If you have not completed a new agent questionnaire to receive this, I will be going over where you can um, find those questionnaires. And again, it's going to ask you for that market center number. So I'll show you where you can find your market center number if you do not know it already as well. All right, so right below the um, SLM website password, you're going to have notes from your onboarding team. Now on here, if for whatever reason, we were not able to set up one of the systems that we normally do, um, then it's going to have a little note here for you. Typically, we do set up all of your accounts. Sometimes market center staff or agents will take it upon themselves to go ahead and set up, say, the agent's KW email address. Perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but when that does happen and we're not able to access the email because it was set up and the password was set up previously, 
it's going to have your KW email address here and it's going to show email password was previously set up. Now, when the pass when this was set up pri um, set up previous to us being able to add, I'm sorry, I can't speak today. When this is set up before we're able to set up your KW account, this is going to cause things like your um, Canva, Calendly, and Zoom to not be able to be set up by us because we're not able to access the email account and we're not able to add your email signature that we create for you either. So it just kind of causes a couple extra bumps in the road. Starting over here, um, we do have our Keller Williams information. So this is where you can find your KW username and password. A lot of times agents say, well, I don't know my KW, but I have my command login. Your command and KW login information are going to be exactly the same. We reference KW login only because your KW login allows you access to KW command, um, my KW, KW connect. There's a lot more different areas that that login information um, does provide you access to other than just command. And it also allows you to access your um, command mobile app. So that's why we just say KW, not to get you confused. Um, on this completed setup sheet, you do see that there are these little blue links as well that do um, take you to these sites and apps as well. Um, and you can also provide, um, also get a lot of information um, from training videos for these as well on our, our YouTube channel. Um, so anything that we go over, typically we do also have training videos on, on our YouTube page, which I'll go over that later for you as well also. All right, so G Suite, again, this is going to be your KW email information. Um, your KW email address is typically going to be something that has to do with your name. Um, KW is typing down on the KW email addresses. So if you... Um, if you see that you fill out a questionnaire and you had put as your top three choices, um, Scott Leroy Realty at KW.com, that will not be allowed. KW has a whole list of words and um, phrases that they will not allow to be used in the KW email addresses. Um, so they typically want it to be basically your first and last name at KW.com is basically what they want. Now, there are some other things, other ways we can get around that, other things you can do. So it's not strictly having to do with your name, but that's just kind of what they prefer. Um, now, if on your questionnaire that you requested your KW email address to be forwarded, and we will let you know here if we were able to forward it or not. Um, if you use another email account, um, that's perfectly fine. We are able to forward these for you. Scrolling down, you do have other links as well. If you um, click here to update your verification method on your KW email, and that's going to show you how you can update, say, like your verification phone number, or if you have like a second email address that ver verification um, notifications go to. So this will help you assist you with that. And then scrolling down, you see that if you would like to change your KW email address, please email support at when you reach out to us um, to change your, your KW email address, again, keep in mind, there are just some restricted words, um, so like realty, realtor, um, agent, things like that. So um, just try to make sure what you're wanting it to be updated to has something to do with your name for the best results. Keep in mind, even after we request the email change, KW still has to approve it, um, which takes about 24 hours after we request it. So it's not going to be an automatic approval. And a lot of times we still have to reach out to KW support on your behalf to get that submitted. So it just does take a little, it takes like a day or two to go through completely. Scrolling down, you have your KW command IDX website. This is going to be our, your agent website that it gets created during setup as well. Typically we try to um, connect this as with your KW email address. So if your KW email address was Scott Leroy Marketing uh, at kw.com, we're going to try to keep your website the same thing, Scott Leroy Marketing kw at dot kw.com, just so they correlate um, and it makes it a lot easier. <clears throat> when you go to your website, um, there is a login at the top. I'll show you here. So you see this little login button. A lot of times agents think their KW username and password is what provides your log um, your login to here. 
this is a consumer facing website. So keep in mind, this is not for you to be able to access your back end of your website and make updates. This is going to be for your clients to come and create a login for you to capture that information and then for you to be able to track what they do through command. You are able to create a login as if you were a client and see what they see and things like that. Um, but everything is going to, all the updates and edits you want to make to your website is going to be done through command. Um, there is the consumer icon at the very bottom left inside of command. That's where all the edits and updates will be made. All right, so we have our kw.com agent profile next. This kw.com agent profile, well, you know, real quick, I do see we have a lot of um, a lot of questions in the chat. Let's go ahead and jump into there for a second. All right, Peter, I hope you're able to hear it. Um, sorry, not trying to waste your time, sir. Um, Tiffany, I am able to hear it. I'm glad you can. Testing. I can hear you. Peter, Lorenzo, can you everybody hear me? Sorry for the inconvenience. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, good. I don't know what happened, but I followed the uh, uh, Miss Carpenter's advice uh, or Mr. Carpenter's advice and went out and came back in again, repeated the process with uh, the video. So thank you. I didn't realize I was muted. I'm sorry. I was just filtering through the um, the comments to see if there was any um, questions. Can you explain what Scott Laurie Marketing is? Yes, Rachel. Um, so Scott Laurie Marketing, we're a company that um, we work in partnership with your market center and agents um, to help with many different aspects as your onboarding concierge, as your tech trainers. Um, tr we help train you in all different facets of um, KW technology. So whether it be dot loop, DocuSign, um, you know, your onboarding, we will do all kinds of things for you. Um, you can always email us any kind of question you may have when it, when it comes to KW and your business. Um, and if we're able to assist you, we'll let you know. If we're not able to assist you, we will try to provide some information for you still. Um, but we'll always try to do the best we can for you. All right, so it looks like that's about it for right now. Again, if you have anything else, feel free to drop it in the chat and I will circle back. Okay, so kw.com agent profile. Your kw.com agent profile is something that kwri sets up for you um, once you are first entered into the command system by your market center. Um, it is just a little, let's see if this one, this is a little dummy setup that we use to kind of show you. So not really sure. So the KW.com, it looks a lot like your agent websites and the market center websites. Um, so when you go to find a KW um, agent, you can type in an agent's name here and you'll be able to, Lenny, I see you in the chat. So with your first and last name. So I'm just going to see if you're in here. Did I spell it right? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure this one if one of these are you, but um, so this is what the um, profiles look like. It's gonna have your picture, a little bit of information, and a connect with me. Um, this is just kind of like a very basic um, consumer um, search. Like when a, if if a person like um I just want to go find a KW agent, they go to kw.com, and this is kind of like what the process would be. This information does pull from your marketing profile. Um, so there's a lot of different factors of what this updates from and where this information can pull from. So if you see during your setup, when you receive your completed uh, question, their completed setup here, if you see that it says like null or when you click on it, it looks it looks like what I just showed you. It looks like this. Then it may just be because KWRI has not finished setting that up yet. But you can always reach out to us so we can double check your account to make sure because, you know, you want your information displayed everywhere it can be. So. Uh, we will be more than happy to check on that for you. I do see some questions coming in the chat. Okay, I have a lot of questions. Please provide the email or phone number. Um, so Rachel, the email I did drop in the chat. I will provide it again. It should be the very first. 
Um, and again, Rachel, you can also drop your questions right here in the chat box. I'll be more than happy to get with you. <clears throat> How do I find the training videos? Some of the videos I've watched are not updated with the system. Um, that is correct, um, Latrice. We do have a lot on our YouTube channel or slmtraining.com. Um, they do, we do try to update them fairly quickly as yes, the, um, command platform and everything does update fairly quickly. They update quite frequently actually. So we do try to update those as much as possible, but you can go to youtube.com slash at Scott Lowry marketing from this page here. The email sent come from a random email address. How do I change this to my email address? Um, what, what email sent are you referring to? How do I add my listings to my web page? Okay, I'll yeah, we'll circle back to those at the end. Um, we're gonna try to stick to this just for now, and then I'll come back to this for you, Rachel. Um, but this is where you can find training videos. Um, there is this search bar here, um, where you can type in um anything you may be looking for directly into this little search box, and we'll be uh um and it should pull up information for you on that topic. Okay. All right, so your command email. Um, this section is going to show you. So this is the command email that is used to send emails from within KW Command Platform. Now, this is referring to like when you um, have a smart plan or a campaign set up, the reply to email address that's going to show. If you do not have this updated, um, or if we do not update it during your setup, it's going to show some wonky, like, no reply at 342961-84, like, a lot of crazy numbers. And a lot of times when you receive an email like that, you to up oh, that spam, let me go to spam it. So we try to make sure this is updated for you as well. So this is just letting you know what that email address is um, set to in your command email. Your KW Consumer App Link. Um, so there is two different KW apps. There is the red app, which is going to be the command mobile app, which is like your command, but the mobile version. And then there's the consumer app, which um, basically is like your website where clients can search for properties, like properties. You can do save searches with your clients. Um, this is going to be the link that you use to send in your emails to your clients. Or if you wanted to create a QR code using this link, they can scan it with their phone, download the app straight to their device, and get to browse it. Um, keep in mind that if in order to do safe searches, your clients do have to register an account with either your consumer app or your website. So you always want to make sure that having this link available, sending it in your marketing, um, if you want to create a QR code, which I always, at the end of my classes, I always try to provide a helpful piece of um, fun information, which I will show you how to create a QR code. And I'll show you another fun little bit of information at the end of class today. So just so you know how to do that, it's simple, it's very easy. Um, next up, we have Keller Home Loans personal links. Not all market centers have these um, set up during, so if you don't have these on your setup, don't worry about it. Um, you may not need it. I would get with your market center leadership if you do not see it. But this is for Keller Home Loans. Um, so it, it Keller Home Loans is a service provided by Keller Williams um, to assist you. So I would definitely check that out and look into that for you. Um, Keller Covered is basically the, sa it's the same company, another branch of it. So um, that's another thing. If you don't see it there, Mark Center may not have it with their office. Twilio is a texting service that you can use with your KW command. It is a paid messaging service. So you do have to pay for the text and stuff that you send. Um, but this does allow you to text through your command um, dat database as well. Um, you are able to set up um, automated messages. So at the beginning of the month, you can create a, a smart plan that's going to go for six months and send automated text messages to your clients. It's a great way to stay in communication without actually having to physically go in every week or every month to do that task. It's going to do it automatically for you. So this is a great little tool to have as well, if that's something you're wanting to look into. All right, so scrolling down, um, market centers typically use either DocuSign or Dot .loop. Um, some market centers do use both. Um, 
we do know Keller Williams has been trying to make the complete switch to DocuSign, but not everybody has. Um, so if you see DocuSign here, um, then typically your market center still uses DocuSign. We have all the information for the market centers, like what services they use, how to set them up and everything. So if you see DocuSign here and you use DotLoop, you may want to get with your market center and see if they do provide a DotLoop service. Um, or what you need to do in regards to that. So that way you know whether or not you have to make the switch to DocuSign or if you still keep your .loop account. You can also reach out to us. We can see if we can provide you that information, not a problem. So your DocuSign account, we do set up for you. We do generally try to tell you that using your KW email address is best. Um, it just kind of makes sure that the flow is from... Um, from command to DocuSign and your email, it's kind of just makes sure everything's really seamless. Um, so typically we do use that to set up your DocuSign account. When we do create your account as well, we do also um, typically, there's one or two ways that this things that will happen. You'll either just see your DocuSign username here, and then there's going to be a link here that says, please follow this link to complete your setup. That means that we were not able to access your KW email account. Most likely it was set up before we actually started setting up your accounts. So this happens when an agent is transferring from one market center to another or returning um, and we're not able to access their email account. But that means that you have to look out for, there's a DocuSign email somewhere in that email address that's right that would be located right here. And you just have to follow those steps to complete the setup. That means you're gonna pick your password, you're gonna choose your security question and the answer to that security question as well. So if you ever need to change your password, that's the question you're gonna to need to answer. If we set up your account for you, we do always, we always choose the, what phone number do you remember most from your childhood? And then the phone number below it is typically the phone number that is provided on your questionnaire or in your command account um, under your information. So make sure you do enter the periods in between. So the three, two, one period, two, three, six period, those periods are included in the password. So just make sure you keep in mind of that. And again, you can always reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to look up your um, completed setup and provide that information for you. Um, Homekeeper is used to track lead activity. Um, again, this is not a service that we set up with every market center. Um, so if you do have this, um, I would, um, you know, just check it out. If you don't have this with your office and you're wanting and you're wanting to inquire about it, feel free to reach out to us. We don't mind helping out with that either. All right, so a newer service that we do with Scott Lowry Marketing is we've started setting up Calendly accounts link accounts and zoom accounts as well as a canva account now these are just the free basic services provided by each one of these companies um, they are not any kind of special free accounts they're just the generic accounts as if you were to go on and log and register yourself um, but when we do set these up for you we do also connect them to your calendar so like the calendly we will also connect that to your kw calendar so Calendly allows you to send a link to your clients to book um, meetings with you. So you have 30 minute meeting blocks. They can book a time. You can do a Zoom, however you want. Um, and it's just, it's a way to help schedule your day for you. And then it's gonna connect to your calendar. Um, again, these are things that we, uh, we set up for you. If we do not have access to your KW email address during setup, these will show that um, we were not able to set up and to ask, it'll ask you to send us your email address and your password to be able to set, go ahead and set these up for you. So if you would like us to, we just need that information. Um, Blink is your digital business card, which is another really cool, um, a really cool feature that we do for you. Um, it's going to have your headshot, all of your great information. Um, let me see if this one. Yeah, so this is what they look like. Um, so it does provide, um, you know, all of your information. If you have your social medias, we'll put them on there as well. And it just allows another way for people you to share your information. Now, um, so one thing about, so the command mobile app, the command mobile app will, um, you're, you can use the QR code from the mobile app to share your information with your clients. 
The one thing about the mobile app is for whatever reason, and I, I know it's a small reason, but we always hear feedback from agents about it. That feature does not, for whatever reason, save the headshot into your phone or their phone. Um, I mean, I know it's it seems like a small thing, but this Blink does. So there is a QR code within the settings of this as well. You can share that QR code. It'll save right to your client's phone with this headshot attached. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. Um, it's just another tool for you. Um, and then Zoom, again, the Zoom accounts are the free accounts. So I, I do believe that the free account with Zoom, it's a 45 minute um, meetings, um, up to 100 people per meeting. Um, unless you upgrade to the pro account, then it's like unlimited. But the free accounts is just like 45 minutes up to 100 people. That's it. At the 45 minute mark, it'll kick you out automatically. So just make sure you are aware of that. Now, something that we have started setting up as well, as I said, was the free Canva accounts, which um, this, this, uh, this completed setup that I'm sharing with you now, we didn't have it at the time. So this is what the Canva accounts actually um, look like. They're, they are the free accounts. They are, again, just the simple basic. But what we do is when we set up your Canva account, we do also create agents a brand new email signature. Now, if on your questionnaire you sent us your headshot, we will include your headshot. If your headshot is was not included, there will be no headshot, obviously. So if you're a new agent and you see your email signatures added to your email, but you want that information updated, say you got a new business line on your account and you want to update that phone number, you can just go into your Canva and then you'll see it'll only be one of these squares. This is my personal, sorry. Um, and it'll look something, it'll look kind of like this. It's a little different, but you're able to just click on the information and update it right away. You can update your headshot. And then what you can do is just click share, download, and then you can just download straight to your computer. Now, if you know how to update email signatures in your email account, then you are more than able to just go ahead and update it yourself. If you need assistance with that, once you download it, email us the file, email us your um, email address, login, and we'll be more than happy to get that added for you because it it does, it's a little tricky how to do it and getting the size right and everything, but we'll be more than happy to assist you with that. Um, another really cool thing too is, um, which I'm about to get into, but since we're on the subject of email signatures, that like I said, this one specific that you see here will be created for um, a new agents right, right from the beginning. If you wanna play around with the styles and you wanna do have different options, we do have on our website, which I will be going over this in just a minute, so pretend you don't see any of this. I'm going to come back to this process. Um, so on agent resources and then templates, free templates. We do have email signatures. When you click on this link, it will, and then use template, it'll take you straight into your Canva and it's going to provide all these templates for you. So you do have a lot of different options of, um, you know, email signatures. And another really cool thing too, is you can also use these as templates for business cards because they are the same size, so. All right, before we get started on our website, oh, here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the, ch the chat. All right, so I have not seen my website. How do I personalize my website? I would like to create a QR code. I love the DocuSign, it's simple. DocuSign is simple. Um, so you've not seen your website, how do you personalize it? Um, we have all kinds of great videos um, depending on what you're wanting to personalize. Um, if you go to your, oh, what am I typing? I'm all over the place today, sorry guys. Um, if you go to your command account and then you click on consumer, this is going to be your website URL. So whatever this says here, you can type into the URL box. Dot K, but just make sure you add the dot kw.com. Um, and that'll be your website. Now, if you want to go ahead and um Latricia, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. If you want to go ahead and send us an email, support at scholarymarketing.com. Um, because with websites, there's the customization on those is not always the friendliest. There's some things we can do, some things we can't. So if you want to email us, um, hey, I want to personalize my website, this is what I want to do. 
Um, some of our representatives will be able to assist you with that, or they'll explain what else you can do if that's not available. So um, I will show you how to create a QR code as well. Like I said, I'll go over that at the end of class. How do I get back to this page? I'm, I've been all over the place, Rachel. I'm not sure which one you're speaking with. I do, again, this is being recorded. I will um, show you at the end of class too where you can find this recording. You can always reference back to it later. I have home keepers, but I'm not sure how to use it. How do I get them to set up link? I don't, I didn't know it was so, what it was, so I ignored. Uh, yeah, Um. okay, so let me come back, hang on. How do you lose active links to a website on LinkedIn? Did my email so we want to change it? So Rachel and Latricia, I mean, I can come back to all these at the end of class, but it might be easier for both of you. If you want to send an email to support, I mean, I know there's just a lot of questions. If you want to send us an email and just kind of like list out everything, so that way we can just go line by line, one by one and help you. Um, Cause there's just a lot of areas that both different areas that both of you are having questions about. And I just want to make sure that we can get to everything. We can cover all the material. But I mean, again, at the end of the class, I will be more than happy to still try to assist you. How do you add KW logo? I do too. <laughs> and Rachel, that might be something that you want to bring up with your market center um, to, to have maybe have an interactive class on how to do that. That could be a very great market center interactive um, experience. Okay, so on our website, when you go to scottlorymarketing.com, um, it's going to bring you to a very generic homepage. Um, it's going to give you, you know, market center marketing technology. It's going to give you a lot of different options here. We're going to actually focus mostly on this agent resources tab today. When you click on it, it is going to ask you for your market center number or password. Again, it's your market center number. If you don't know where to find your market center number, um, say you know your command um, login information. If you go to mykw.kw.com, right here at the top, it's going to have your market center number. So if you don't know what it is, you can always find it right there. So once we get once we get logged in again, this once you log in with your market center number, that is going to connect anything that you're doing on the website. It's going to connect you to that market center because every single market center is different with um, processes that they have, their logos, all kinds of things. So under agent resources, the very first tab we're going to see is questionnaires. So if you are a brand new agent, now this isn't meaning a new agent. In general, if you are a brand new agent with Keller Williams, you have never worked at a Keller Williams before, um, you're going to want to, and you've never filled out a questionnaire, you're going to want to complete the new agent questionnaire. This is just going to allow us to get the basis for you set up. It's going to provide all the information we need to grow ahead and create those accounts. Um, if you are an admin, an unlicensed admin on a team, you can fill out the admin questionnaire. Um, if you were an admin and now you're being come a licensed agent and you're moving into an agent role, this will be the questionnaire for you. A capper, this is just for agents that are high producing. Um, you, you know, they're, they're the agents that, um, you know, have the business flowing all the time. Questionnaires. Um, the command questionnaire, that's basically just kind of the same as the existing questionnaire. Existing questionnaires are for agents that have been with, sorry, there's people people coming into the room um, that have been with KW for a while. This is something that we use kind of like as a tool. It's kind of like when you go to the doctor for like your yearly checkup. This existing agent questionnaire is just like a yearly checkup kind of thing that we do. Um, it's for agents to say, hey, I haven't really done anything for a while. Will you check on my technology, my accounts, make sure I'm up to date with everything. We do not replace anything that you already have set up with your accounts or any information um, unless you ask us to, but we won't go in and update your bio for you without you asking us. We won't change anything um, unless you want us to. This will just add to what's already there. 
Um, expansion, if you are part of more than one market center, say you're licensed in multiple states, um, this is a questionnaire for you to be able, for your marketing profiles to represent all of your market centers versus just the one. If you are a new agent coming, say you're coming from like um, a third party real, real estate company, but you haven't told them that you're leaving yet, but you want to go to get everything set up. This will keep all of your accounts hidden. It'll have your marketing website profile will be turned off so nobody can see until you're ready to announce it and make sure it's public. If you are joining Market Center staff, we do have a staff questionnaire as well. Um, if you have left Keller Williams and are returning, if you decided to come back home where you belong, there's a returning questionnaire for you. If you're on a team, this questionnaire is going to allow us to update your team logos, team names, all your team information onto your marketing profile as well. And if you are transferring to a new market center from a different Keller Williams market center, um, then this is a questionnaire for you. So there's a lot of different questionnaires. Each questionnaire is designed to provide the information based on what situation you are in. So that's why there are so many different ones. All right, so the new agent websites, this is where if you are a newer agent um, or you have not really played around with the new KW websites yet, um, there, this is going to um, provide a lot of the different um, training materials and classes that you can see here on how to upgrade your website. So there was the previous version. Um, so if you've been with Keller Williams a while, you may know the way that the website was before, um, but now you see this update but you haven't quite updated it yet. There is all these different um, videos, all these different content for you to be able to make sure you don't lose anything that you may already have, any landing pages, things like that. Once you have launched your website, this is information how you can add testimonials. Um, you can manage your featured listings, open house sign-in page, which this open house sign-in page, I do, I will show you at the end because it's super simple. Um, it used to be kind of a pain before, but it's not anymore. And then there's some articles provided by KWRI down here also. So this is going to give you a lot of great information on the new agent websites. Um, they're less than a year old, so there's still a lot of new things that are coming out with this website. So you can always refer back to this page in order to keep up to date. We do also have live webinars. And then under the training tab, we do have our training calendar. This is where you can come. You can find all of the great information of what classes are coming up. Um, so as you know, we do have the slmwebinar.com. That's going to take you straight into this Zoom link that we are currently in now. You are also able to find the recorded classes at slmtraining.com as well as our YouTube page. If you want to, we do have two classes that we do a month that you can vote on the topic that you want to see. So these are how you can vote for those topics to, um, in order to get those training that you kind of want to see on our calendar. And then right below here, it does show you our training calendar. If you want to add this training calendar here to your Gmail calendar, all you have to do is click on this little plus sign right down here at the bottom. And then this is going to add it to your calendar so you know what classes we are teaching daily. Um, if you did not know, we do have a live training class every Monday through Friday fr at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, again, there are going to be some holidays where we don't have classes. So, but typically, um, yeah, Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then you can scroll down to if you want to have a flyer, say, for your market center, you can just click on the PDF for the class time. So Central Standard, Eastern Standard, things like that. Um, and it will pull up a download a flyer for you. So a lot of great um, information here that you can keep up to date with the training. We do also have some SLM challenges. Um, so just like as a new agent in command, you get set up on a 30 day new agent challenge. Every day provides um, you know one thing for you to do. Um, there are other challenges here as well that are just kind of like, you know, okay, I'm onboarded, I've done, my I've done some things, but what do I do next? I'm kind of lost. You know, I just want to keep it moving. These are some great challenges to kind of keep you in the know, keep you um, focused on what you need to do with your technology, with the real estate, some great ways to just stay, stay involved.
And then we also have some digital marketing tips and tech 101. Here we do have a recorded training class. Um, this is going to just break down by section our bunch of different classes that we do provide that will provide some training for you. If you want to just take some time and learn about DocuSign, you can watch some DocuSign 101 classes here. And there's Homekeeper here as well. I know, Latricia, you had said something about Homekeeper that you were set up, but you didn't really know what it is. Here's a great way that you can um, take a cup, take take a little bit of time and learn about Homekeeper. All right. Then we have Agent Support. Um, this is just gives you an option to, you know, basically email us the support questions you may have. So basically when you click on agent support, um, it's gonna just ask you break down. So if you're needing assistance with importing your database, um, creating a new bio, winterizing your um, database, there's a bunch of different topic, topics here and they break it down between command services, Keller cloud services, um, your email and Google website. There's just a lot of different ways that you can reach out to support, reach out to us in order to support you. Um, we're going to skip over leadership support and we're going to go to templates. We have the free templates options here. Again, just like how I showed you with the Canva, um, the free templates are just going to um, provide you with, you know, listing social posts or listing flyer templates. These are just going to give you a lot of different options for um, getting assistance with things. Um, now, keep in mind, you are there are a lot of free templates in command, um, but these are just more options for you. Again, this is where you can find the email signature, things like that. And then you do also have the um, do it for you. Um, this is going to be an option for um, a paid, like kind of like paid services. Um, you know, we do assist with a lot of training. There are some paid items that, you know, we'll, that we'll do for you for at cost. But now if you missed it before, um, we do have our um, YouTube channel. It's going to be youtube.com at scottleroy marketing. I'm sorry, at scottleroy marketing. This is how you can watch and catch up on any videos. Um, this today's training will be posted on here probably about two to three hours after the class is over today. It does take a little bit for us to get it uploaded. Um, so you can always refer back to here. Um, I think that was about it for the class. Let me go ahead and jump into the chat one more time okay returned after 10 years and i have been back one month awesome welcome back return home where you belong <laughs> yes ma'am how did you get that there again sorry i blinked can you hear 30 day renew i was not aware of them when i came i'm not sure what you're asking on that last question latricia um, guys, if anybody else has any questions as well, feel free to drop them in the chat. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now, and I'm going to give you guys some a couple of cool tips. Um, give me one second. What I do? Okay.